Okay, hi there guys. Uh, welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. Today's tutorial we are going to talk about functions. Well, one of the things that we have been doing for quite a while is reading value from the screen, displaying value on the screen, okay, and making the screen stop. Now, basically what you have done is writing this line of code in order to read anything from the screen, right? Which is system.console.read line. Now, what does that mean? Basically, to make things easier for programmers, there are a number of tags that are being repeated uh, again and again. So, Microsoft decided, okay, since these tasks are being repeated and required by many programmers, we will put them in a library. Okay, so that anyone could use them. Now, what are these libraries? Well, uh, they they group these libraries, okay, uh, in order to make it easier to use. So basically, you could go to the system uh, group of functions or library. From that, you could go to the console, uh, let's say library or object, for example. For now, think about it as a library, and then you would call a method. This name is here. It is a method. They call it a method. Sometimes they call it a function. Okay. Uh, basically, a method doesn't return a result. Uh, so this is a, a function. I'm sorry. Yeah. You would call this function, and you you open a bracket, close a bracket. So what does this do? Well. This code, Microsoft wrote some code here in order to display the characters on the console, on the black screen. Uh, put these characters that you enter into a buffer. Get the value from that buffer and convert it into a string. And, uh, you know, uh, return that string and place it here. Okay? But this might not be 100% accurate, but, you know, this is the basic idea. So all that complicated work where the cursor should be specified and the buffering and stuff like that all have been done in this simple function. Okay, one line of code. Uh, same thing is here. Okay, this is like a function that returns nothing. So basically here you are also calling the console. You can see that these both methods lie within uh, or functions lie within the same group of functions because they are dealing with the screen so they place them in a common uh, group or uh, namespace. Okay, something like that. Okay, and you would write the value here and so on. So let's try this out. Okay, I'm going to say hi here, and you get hi. So it's very simple. Now, um, of course, you remember the previous examples when we calculated the sign. So, we try to do something similar here. So, we are going to use double <coughs> angle. First thing we did there is to read the angle. So, what did we do? We wrote something like this double dot parse. Okay, and we place this one like this, right? Now, check this out. We have a name over here, followed by a dot, followed by another name, and after that we have a bracket. A name followed by a bracket means you are calling a function. Okay, so there's this bracket. Now, here we are calling this function. What does it return? It returns a string. And that string will be passed as a parameter. They call this parameter. Okay, into, uh, uh, I mean, this part between the two brackets. They call it a parameter. Uh, will be passed onto this function. This will take a string, a group of characters, and convert the data structure from string into double data type so that you could do calculation on it and the double will be placed into angle okay so so far so good I suppose now we just finished reading the angle in degrees of course um, 
you could enter them in Radiant if you'd like to, but anyway. So now, what, what are we going to do? We are going to convert this to Radiant, so angle equal angle, divide this by 180.0 and multiply it by. Now, since I don't remember the value of pi, I don't want to go and access Wikipedia for some reason, I could just say math.pi. Now, check this out as well. Here, we access uh, the council and we access what the read line method because this one will get us to the display and this one will allow us to read it from the screen. This one, math, stands for mathematical set of functions, something like that. Okay, so you could remember it very easily. And you put a dot, you put a pi. This is a predefined constant. This is not a function, you don't place brackets here. This is a fixed value, a constant. So, this way you could easily get some uh, uh, some numbers that are difficult to remember and use them. So now we just convert this angle into radian. Now we are going to calculate the sine. So I'm going to say double uh, sine equal. I'm going to say math dot sine. You can see. And I open a bracket. And by the way, check this out. When I open a bracket, you can see there is double A which means there is a parameter of data type double that should be passed uh, into here. And what is A? It tells you here. You could just read it. So A, an angle measured in radians. Okay, so basically we've already done that. So I'm going to say angle. So, and uh, finally we just need to display the results. So system console right line sign. Okay. So let's try this out and we are gonna speak about this a little bit more. So I'm gonna say 30, this is 0 0.5, and I'm gonna say 90, and this is 1. So very easy, very straightforward. So let us have a look here and see how many functions have we, uh, we, we have just called. So this is the first function, which will read the value from the screen. This is the second function, which will convert the value we have read in here into a, uh, from a string into a double. So, two function calls so far. Calculating the sign is the third function call. Displaying the value to this, uh, on the screen is the fourth function call. And this is the fifth function call. So, I've called you five functions and was able to write a program to, of, uh, that calculates the sign in one, two, three, four, five lines of code. Five lines of code in order to calc uh, five lines of code in order to calculate the sign of a function. Now, if you remember the previous code, I will have to check this out. So, yeah. Let me check this out. Uh, I think it was this one. Da, 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 close current one. I think, yes. Okay, I think it was this one. Right? So now check the, uh, this program that also calculates the sign. So check the amount of work that have been done here. Okay? Uh, we had to calculate you know, remember the value of uh, uh, pi, of course, we used Wikipedia in order to cheat here. Uh, we had to calculate the summation of terms, uh, take care of the sign, uh, okay, and then, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, finding the power, x uh, to power i, the factorial, and uh, the value of the term, and then finding the summation, and so on. So, all this work, let, you, you could just say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about, about 12 lines of code just to calculate, I, I mean, here I'm neglecting the spaces, the comments, uh, maybe uh, over 12 lines of code just to calculate the sign of a function. And not only that, we had to check Wikipedia in order to get the formula and make sure that everything is correct. However, with uh, 
uh, with our example here you didn't have to remember the value of pi you didn't have to remember how to calculate the sine of a function it has it is all been done for you you just call the function and it will return the result for you okay so this is one of the advantages of using functions uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day bye bye